an astronomical amount to come and do it for you. I'm not that girl. I'm always the kind of girl that says, I can do that. Um, so this is the telescoping ratchet pruner by the Grouchy Gardener. I am really interested to hear who this Grouchy Gardener is. This is so awesome because it's actually all five stars. All five star reviews is what it's got. It is at a clearance price, so once it's gone, we won't be getting it back in again. And it's the first day ever at this low price. It has great extension to it. It'll go anywhere from 27 inches in length, extending to 39 and a half inches. It only weighs about three pounds, 10 ounces, so it's comfortable as well. Feels and nice. It does feel nice. And Great gripping too on the handles. Michelle is with us. Michelle Hi. Stretch, <laughs> seasonal uh, decor expert. She's actually holding what we're calling the red. Yes. And again, I call that like a coral orange. And then I'm holding the green. Um, so will you take me through these, and what it does? Yes. And nice bright colors that you're going to be able to see. If you're throwing stuff into your yard, I kind of do that with my tools sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, so top to bottom, and this is the Grouchy Gardener. You wanted to know who that I was. I did, yeah. It's a gentleman in the UK who has been a lifetime career gardener who just apparently, according to his son, is very grouchy and <laughs> developed some fantastic tools to make his life a little happier in the garden. So these are great. Beautiful anvil edge that you see at the top. A nice crisp steel blade here. You see there's a um, serrated edge here, so you're going to be able to catch onto those branches. Here's the ratchet system inside here. That is what's going to give you all the power so that you don't have to use your own strength to cut even thick, thick branches. And then here's something right here. There's five ratchets there. You're going to be able to slide these all the way out, as you mentioned, to How'd 39 you inches. How'd you just squeeze in right here. So you're going to okay. squeeze these buttons here, and that's going to be able to allow you to lock it into place. So see that? Yeah. There, very nice construction. Love that. So you can put it whatever height you want. You can get up to those very high branches, mm -hmm. down to those low branches. And I think we should get to business. Over okay, here. Get go to do work it. Let's over do it. Because that ratcheting action is what it's all about, right? Absolutely. And you know what? If you're not familiar with ratcheting, okay, here's what. All you do is you catch that branch in there, okay? Open wide, put it in there, and very easy. Look at the ratchet in the center moving up. That is what is giving you wow. strength. So maybe in the past, you know, you don't have to open it up all the way again and use your own strength. Mm -hmm. You just gently watch that ratchet moving up, giving you all the strength you need up to five. Up to it, go ahead. Up, up to, to five ratchets there, and you are clean cutting. That is the size of a quarter. I don't know if you can see wow. this. Wow. It's a large branch, small branches. That is something I'd have to bring the saw Could for. Could it be easier to do? Yeah. Yes. Um, what I love about it is you're using no muscle power. No I muscle power. I mean, you're power. just kind of, you know. That's the idea, too. And you know what? I think, you know, we talk about ratcheting. If you're like, well, I'm not sure about this ratcheting power. Like I said, you want to just use the power of that ratchet system. That's where all of the power is. And you're getting a clean cut. You can cut small branches as well, very oh, easy. Because usually you, one, you know, your small cutter won't do your large cutter. You're getting out those small handheld tools to do that. Yeah. I love it too, that uh, you can reach up very, very high with this, mm -hmm. you know? So let me show you as well. You can probably yeah, get- Yeah, all the way to what, 39 and a half yeah. inches. So I'm five foot five. I could get about a 10 foot extension there with yeah. my arms. Yeah. And putting them up that way. You can also go down very low, I'm gonna show you. So okay. you know you have that brush and those things that are coming up from the ground. Right. So I am not bending, maybe you have lower back issues. All I'm doing, very gently. Look how, e I mean, it's like slicing through butter, really. That's amazing. Look at that. The and why is that? Is because that, what does that ratcheting effect do? What, what cause, it, it's like a property of physics, yeah, it, right? It, to me, it's one, of, it's the, the most wonderfully engineered design. So what happens is, as that ratchet moves up, you're seeing that, it moves a little bit closer to the top. That inertia there gives, this, gives you more and more strength for each cut. Mm -hmm. So you're not using your muscle power to cut it. Makes it so easy in the garden. I am all about easy and quick. So this is one tool that's going to do a whole lot for you. Yeah, it does. It seems that way. I mean, otherwise, what, what are all alternatives? Getting out that saw, right? Let's take a look at what some people are saying about this, because like I said, this is all five stars right now. I'm 68 years old, weigh under 100 pounds, and I can cut branches that I never could have attempted yeah. to before. Um, so let's read another one. It says, I have had other telescoping pruners. These handles are better, and the telescoping mechanism is outstanding. They cut through the branches like butter. Um, that's another <laughs> five-star review there. Um, so, I mean, they just go on and on and on. 
it, it makes it nice because number one, it's safer. You're not climbing up on a big ladder um, and you know in the backyard trying to reach something because this is going to telescope out for you. The other thing is is that you know it's going to save you money. You don't have to pay someone to come and prune it when you can do it yourself. And don't pull out that rusty old hand you know saw trying to get a branch when you can make quick work of going from a thicker branch to a thinner branch with this. Yes, it's like slicing through. Do it yourself and you're not exerting a lot of muscle power. So look how easy that is with the ratcheting system. And I'm going to just show you real quick. Wow. This is one that you might have in your garden shed right now. So Antonella, I mean this I don't even know if I could get this apart. Is it? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> if you can get it apart, this yeah. is what you might have. That's what we're no used to seeing. No ratchet here. Yeah, and you need all of your strength, Antonella. I, there's no You're way. never going to get that. You no, I told you that before, Michelle. That's yeah. something that I would have to go and get that rusty I mean, saw out. How are you going to do that? You can't do that. And you know that. what? Even if you do do it, you're going to ruin the branch and the tree. You could possibly kill the tree because if you get a very dirty cut on that and it scrapes down off the bark, it just could be bad all around. And I'm making mm. easy work of that. Yeah. Trust me, it is easy work. Easy, easy to use for those large branches easy to use for the small branches as well mm -hmm. high low. I love that I can I'm gonna go low over here again yeah. too so you know if you have those uh, branches coming out the brush maybe you back up against woods yeah look or at this. something you don't want to get close to I know we have a beehive that always goes into the ground near one of our bushes and you sometimes it's there sometimes it's not it's underground um, so it's nice to be able to kind of get something with a longer reach and take care of it that way. Nice clean cut. Yeah, you're not getting near the snakes. You don't even need gardening snakes. for this. Ah. Snakes, uh, whatever kind of critters are down there, they're there. I've yeah, seen I them. know they're there. I don't like them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do anything to them. Anyone? Like, no. Well, yes, yeah, I there think there's some people that like them. I don't know. Cool glasses, though, right? Thank you so um, much. Thanks, Michelle. That's it for you and I. Thank you. Alrighty, I'm gonna walk on over here to Janine. How are you, babe? Good, how are you? I'm doing good. Always um, good to see you. Ditto. Um, we've got Janine Frillo up right now, and I gotta tell you, I always love working with you because you bring so much information oh. and guidance. You're just awesome. Oh, uh, so you thank too. you. Mm -hmm. 